Can we turn an eye of round roast into a filet mignon? Welcome back to the channel, everyone. If you are a subscriber, thank you so much for tuning back in. If you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button, turn on that bell, and share this with some of your awesome friends. So, we wanted to know, can we turn an eye of round steak into a filet style cut of meat? Short answer, no, we couldn't do it. But stay tuned throughout the whole video so you can see what the end results were because we did do a taste test on this. The reason I wanted to make steaks out of eye of round is because I love pit beef, roast beef, and there is no better cut you can get than eye of round to make those certain types of roast beef sandwiches, pit beef, uh, they're just so good. But you're left with a lot of meat. And if you're like me, after two or three days, you, you start to get sick of eating roast beef and then you don't wanna eat it for weeks and then you end up throwing it out. So I thought, what if we could cut steaks out of a portion of the eye of round and then save the rest, freeze that for later, but then be able to eat those steaks and have them turn out delicious? Well, that's an experiment just worth trying. I know nobody cuts steaks out of eye of round for a reason. All right, it's a cheap cut of beef for a reason and you don't make steaks out of it. But I want to give it a try. And here's the mad scientist in my head that thought process that came in my head. I want to cut them not too thick, as you can see, uh, but then slice them up and then marinate them for 24 hours with teriyaki sauce. Who doesn't love a good teriyaki sauce? One of the steaks, we're just gonna marinate it in teriyaki. The other one, we're gonna stab with a fork because it broke my injector while trying to do this experiment, but stab it with a fork and let the teriyaki really soak in. And then the third steak is just gonna be our control steak. So to really tenderize it and get it nice and soft, why not put in the sous vide for 12 hours? I initially thought 24, but 12 sounded a little better because we didn't want to totally change this texture of this cut of beef. And then finally, um, cook it at 132 degrees. Sorry, brain fart. Uh, cook it at 132 degrees for that 12 hours. So enough talking, let's get cooking. I'm gonna show you how, to, how we did it and then the taste test and what we thought at the end of the video. Thank you.
Max still has no idea what he's about to eat. So this is Mystery Meat Friday. Oh, it's Mystery Meat? Mystery Meat Friday. Okay. Do you have any guesses of what this is? Um, no. <laughs> All right. Yeah, no. So we got steak A, steak B, steak C. We're gonna hop right in. Steak A. I'm using my fingers. Okay. Wait, this, this is steak, steak A? Yeah. Chewy. I cut it super thin, and I'll explain why later. Initial thoughts. Talk to the audience. I think it's pretty tender. It is tender, right? I'd say, yeah. Any Tastes like teriyaki. All right. It was, that was obvious. It was used, we used teriyaki marinade. Uh, marinated for about 24 hours. Uh, any guesses on the meat yet? Venison. Venison, ooh. Interesting, interesting. All right, jump into the steak B. Let's see if B's better. Teriyaki flavor again. Yeah, this absorbed the teriyaki more. Okay. I actually like that. If you're going for like a gamey meat, yeah. teriyaki marinade flavor, this was better. Do you have a preference on teriyakis to get at the store? Or do you just grab whatever? No. Nah, Yoshida's like teriyaki. Been using it since I was a kid. Uh, yes. All right, final steak. This looks like beef to me. So mystery meat. When I said mystery meat, I still meant beef. Oh, they're uh, both beef. They're it's all beef. beef. It's the same cut. Watch the cut. What? They're all the same cut? Cut from the same cut of beef. That's some kind of chuck. Okay. Is it softer than you think regular chocolate tastes? Yeah. All right. Do you have a preference or we have a winner? I like this one more. B, hands down B. Yeah. All right. So the purpose of this experiment was eye of round. Okay. Which is technically from some of the articles I've read, the hardest cut of beef that you get from a cow. So I love to do ground pit beef where you keep flipping it on hot coals, but then you have this much beef for the rest of the week. And there's only so much beef sandwiches, pit beef sandwiches you can have in one week. Mm -hmm. So my goal of this experiment was to see if we could sous vide for 12 hours to really soften it up, marinate it in teriyaki for 24 hours the day before, and try to trick Max into thinking it was a filet. No. <laughs> Well, <laughs> as soon as I touched it from pulling it out of the sous vide, I knew that was not going to happen. Yeah. All right. Now, the difference between these two, steak A, was it was just marinated in teriyaki. I was planning on injecting with my injector, but because I've been using it so much, I broke it recently. Mm -hmm. So what I did is I took a fork and I just stabbed the heck out of this piece of beef. Yeah. So when I marinated it, you can see, you can barely make it out, you probably won't be able to, but it's just got a little bit more uh, color. It didn't dry out as much as the one that did not get the fork punctures. And then this was just our control, salt, pepper, uh, the teriyaki though. I mean, this isn't something- You're gonna wanna, no, I'd say you're still gonna wanna eat it on like a sandwich. Yeah. With a sauce on top. So would you... Is it pretty dry? I mean, they're just... They are dry. They're pretty dry looking. And that's what I was worried about. I was actually going to do 24 hours sous vide, but I was like, that's just going to dry it out to be unrecognizable. Uh, so 12 was fine. They're very tender. Super tender. Uh, different. There's something I want to keep playing with. Maybe like you said, with a sandwich. And uh, But would you do it a sandwich with a plain or with a teriyaki? Teriyaki. Do some kind of like uh, you could almost style sandwich. I wonder something. if you could like smoke this to preserve it after the sous vide. I mean, you're kind of adding extra work. Yeah. But there's something that could be done here. Anyway, I still have this much uh, eye of brown at home left, and uh, I'm gonna make a traditional pit beef with that. But I won't have so much leftovers. <laughs> All right, folks, you <clears throat> saw it here first. Can you make? Eyebrow steaks, maybe. We're still experimenting. <laughs>
If you like this, hit that thumbs up button, turn on notifications after you click that subscribe button. Thank you and have a great day.